Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to another uh, Girls Africa meeting. Good afternoon. Uh, it's Ruth here, in case you're wondering. Um, let me share my screen quickly. Okay, so last week I was a facilitator. This week I'm still the facilitator. Who would like to facilitate next week? Mm. Mm. Oh, nobody would like to facilitate next week. Okay. Um okay, maybe we should we get... should we be nominating people? <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can nominate people to show up. I nominate Winifred. Yeah, hey, Winifred. <laughs> Jacob is laughing. Winifred, they are facilitating for us next week. Is it next week or next two weeks? Uh, next week. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, next, it's like next time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. You see now. See. Winifred, thank you. And okay, thank you very much. So um, you can add your name to the agenda. Sorry. Did not do that part. Um, yeah, sorry, I was asking oh, is if it's week? next week or next two weeks. No, next two weeks. Next two weeks. That was a mistake. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so I don't know. I don't think we have any new persons, do we? Um hi uh Asha. I think Asha, I've not met you before. Do you want to say hi? Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, where are you based? I think um I can't really hear you. Just speaking. Um where? Sorry. I said I'm based in Lagos, Nigeria. Can you hear me yes. now? Yeah, yeah, I hear you now. Yeah, Lagos, Lagos. Lagos. Yeah, I think it's it's either lagging or it's my network too. <laughs> because my network has been very bad today. Um, but thank you for joining us. Um, so um, welcome to every other person. Mm, I see some old faces. Funke, welcome back. Happy New Year. <laughs> Hello, Ashen. Do you want to say hi as well and where you're joining us from? I think uh hi I'm joining from Abuja. Okay. Ah oh, nice to meet you. But at, at least we have some like we mostly have people from big girls here. Well they are increasing you are increasing other other um in other states and hopefully other countries. Um but welcome to our community. Um, so yeah, um, we have um quite not so much details in the agenda, but if you have anything that you love to discuss, you can add it to the um agenda item. It's free for everybody to add their um agenda items. So I'm going to add it to the chat again. Um, so the first thing I wanted to notify people that um we have started recording like um taking note of community contributions, like non-technical contributions, right? I think um, a couple of times some people had expressed um, that, you know, um, when, if it's not code, most times you do not see like proof of your contributions. So in the case project, we started taking note of um, community contributions. So for example, if you facilitate a meeting like this, that's a valid contribution to the community. Any small time you spend in chaos, it's valid, right? So this is the uh, where we would have these contributions.md file is where we record all the people com contributing to the community, right? So, um, yeah, so if you spend any little time in chaos, you can just open an issue um, and then we'll add your um name to this. If you write a blog post, if you facilitate any meeting, if you, um, you know, help plan a program or help, you know, do something note taking as well. 
um, you can open an issue and um, would have a PR that would um, kind of like add your name to this um, to this so this is a way to recognize people that are also um, contributing to the community and not just people writing code right so any contributions you make, you can always open it. We are also looking to make this automa automated in the way we use a GitHub action to automate it when people open issues, right? But in the meantime, it's manual. So in if you have made any um community contributions or if you, I, I think it's it's from now on, right? So if you make any community contributions um from now in the future, you can add Add your name, open an issue to add your name to this list. Let me see if there are issues, pending issues here. Um see how my network is so slow. Gosh. Yeah, so there are no there are no pending issues yet, but always you can have this file handy for community contribution. So add your contribution. I don't know if there's any question or any thoughts on this. Uh, Jacob, I'm not using Glow. No, I hope. I think Glow is even better than this. But yeah, is there any question or thoughts or feedback on this? Okay, I guess there's none. Um, I don't know if there's anybody from the project management group here. Are there any things that people can contribute to or any updates from that group? Um so as of now i do not know of any but i think we're in search of people that have experience or are good with um accessibility auditing so it's just like an open call so if you are really or if you have like any knowledge of how to go about it we need more hands and more people to join the team so you can reach out to and you see on the call you can reach out to Yuga or you can reach out to me on Slack or Ruth if you are interested in joining that team and if you know about it. Um I I think I'll be interested in contributing to that aspect. So uh, I'll send a DM. Okay, thank you, Anita. Hey. Okay, um, hi, Busayo. Can you throw oh. more light? Yeah, yeah. Can you throw more light on the accessibility uh, auditing? Um, maybe for somebody who want to understand it and then know how to come in. Okay. Um. So, in chaos, we are like very, very, um, we I focused. And we try we we are trying to ensure that uh, the chaos website or like other parts of chaos also take into accountability that some people have like barriers, like people that are blind, just to basically make the chaos websites easier for others to assess. So there are different ways we can run this test. So um a lot of things on that accessibility auditing is still like in progress is still ongoing which is why we need like a lot more people to join the team so 
would be conducting like checks on the website to see okay where can we improve and through these checks will then open up issues that people can help us work on and improve the chaos websites or other chaos websites too i don't know does that make sense jacob yeah yeah it does um i will reach out to you i'm interested in that okay okay Great. thank you, thank you. Anymore. So if anybody is interested in doing that, um, it's a really interesting project. Um, just making things more accessible for people um to use. Um, so yeah. Um any and is there any question? Any more questions? Okay, can you hear me? On that part? Yes. yes, we can hear you. Okay, so um, I yes, actually I joined the communications team. I think I joined last year, but we had a meeting last week, or was it earlier this week? So we, I think we had it writing a newsletter to um a com to the communication thing that we want to do, like writing a newsletter to the community members, right? So um. I asked during our meeting how to like reach out to um, different leads of each, should I say department or each section, take for instance, the project management department and the say um, developers department or something like that you get so that we can actually always get updates for them from them whenever I want to like write newsletter and all of that stuff. But I don't really know them in person. I don't know who I can reach out to that can actually point me to the people I'm supposed to reach out to in case we need to actually like put information out in terms of newsletter. And we need to have like their updates in our newsletter. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. I think um Olucha had mentioned to me about the newsletter. And then I think I told her that um we have the chaos general newsletter but I'm, I'm guessing what you're talking more about is like our own the one for chaos africa right having a newsletter for chaos africa that's what yes. you're looking up okay yes. uh, okay i think um can we we have that update we can revisit it here or maybe I, we can just go here and then come back to the developer group so i i think yeah it would be great to have something like that um as well um looking at the way this year we've been expanding i know i told her to pause first then because like we had the the chaos general newsletter but i think to some extent we can start sending ours um um as well so it's something we can look forward to but then talking about the people leading the teams um we have like from the different working groups um i know we've had like focus groups but some of them have not really been active so for example now um for the project manager group if you want to reach out to somebody that's um either busayo busayo is one of the people there Right. And then for social media, you already know who to reach out to. For the developers is um Adenka. Um Adenka is the one to um reach out to for if you want to get updates about, you know, developers, right? What the developers are working on. Um and then for design, that would be Kinsley. Kinsley is for design. But um really you can also ask like on the channel as well. You can drop this message on the channel and then I can tag all of them. Um, tag all of them for you so that you can know who they are. But let's talk more about what the structure of the newsletter would look like, right? Before we start doing that, like what's, what would the newsletter look like? What kind of information do you want to start sharing? I know that we do a lot of um, social media updates. That's also something we can be putting in those newsletters. But let's look at the structure as well. Um, I don't know if, if you were able to attend the meeting they had, uh, were you able to attend the one they had with you? Yeah, I was able to attend it. In fact, we are actually two in number, so I'll just tell my um partner, the other person that we're planning to actually work on it together. Okay, so maybe we'll reach out to you, right? Or something. <laughs>
Okay. Um, you can communicate in that group. I'm also in that group as well, just that I have like also okay, okay, okay. yeah. Okay, so I think since we are already talking about social media, we can just even visit this documentation right that is here. Then we can talk back to the go back go back to the developer group if that's fine. So Oluchi and there's some other people in that team. I think um Aisha is part of that team. They had worked on like um a social media strategy doc, which I wanted to share. I don't even have edit access to this. Um, but yeah, so they had worked on a so I told talked to all she since she leads the social media um the social media um group to prepare to talk with the people um in that meeting and um prepare like a strategy for this year. Right, like last year at this beginning of last year, I think we had around either 1,200 followers or so. Right. And we also made a lot of um we also made a lot of um a lot of progress with that account. So I think they worked on these things, which I think I'm going I've not given feedback to, to high yet, but I just wanted to show people this that they worked on um for the strategy, right? Um so if people can look at this as well and also drop feedback when she gives um edit access to to me um so i see i would even say even to give more feed, to give feedback here on the spot um green out with our page um our followers to do it. i think now we're on 1600 um well in this increasing active engagement maybe since Aisha is here, you can give this feedback back to the team. What kind of active engagement did we have before? And what's what are we increasing now to do you get? So this should expand. What are we increasing it to? I think that's that's something um you all should think about. Um I'm just looking through here to point out some things. Um if people have um ideas of where we can get open source content from, we can also recommend it to the social media team because currently this is where we get like content that we post on our social media, right? Um if you have campaigns as well that we want to do, like you want us to do um in this year open source related campaigns that you want us to do this year. You can also recommend it to the team. Um yeah, so I'm just going to pause here and get other people's feedback on this um strategy documents. Um, any feedback, you know, um, or do you want to talk more about this document and like what you mean by increase the active engagements? Can you not hear me? I'm be sure that's... Yeah, we can. Okay, we can hear you. But I don't think all of is here. I think somebody dropped the chat message. Hi, everyone. This is all of you. But okay, maybe it's oh, another. Okay. Um, yeah, but if, does anybody have any feedback on this? Um, the social media, like what do you want to see in our social media? What we're not doing that they can also improve on? Um, Hi, everyone. They... Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Um. So I didn't get your last method. Um, what you said last. I was, okay. I was going to ask if you want to maybe um throw more light on this document and also what's here. This what what this means like increasing active engagement. Like, what does that look like? 
Okay, so basically for that, we are going to, um, what we are going to do with that is to analyze our post and see the one that um, our audience wants to, the type of post our audience wants to um, get from our community. So instead of us just like making posts for making sake and for posting sake rather, at the end of every quarter, we can do survey questions or form rather to ask general um, questions and also ask them in return like what type of content they want to see from us and so that they can be able to, so that we are not just creating this, so that it will not be at the end that we are just creating this content because we want to create them. We want to be able to put, um, we want to be able to focus more on, on our, sorry, we want to be able to focus more, more on our audience rather than just creating it as a community. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, that's nice. Um, does anybody have any feedback? Um, for Oluchi and the team, I'll I'll look more on them later and just drop, um, detailed feedback. For it looks good. Thank you. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. I'm going back to I think we missed any questions on social media part, and if you want to contribute to the social media. Um, Oluchi is the person to go to if you have any questions around uh, social media. Any questions there? This is a very quiet meeting today. Is whether it's hot in Lagos. How I feel back quiet. Um, I'll just say well done, Oluchi. The document looks really well thought out. Um, so you could just like give edit access or comment access. So like maybe if people have thoughts, they can just like leave it there so you can just work on it. Maybe people are shy to talk here. Yeah, please oh, can, if you can drop the edit access link. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. I think there's no for the Our group, um, I think something that we're trying to, I know meetings have not been going on, but um, I think Kana and a couple of other people are trying to see how we can, um, you know, structure things well and then come back to the community to to make things more easier for people to contribute to. But that's what's currently happening now. Um, but yeah, but if anybody has any questions around that, we can any questions but that's one update I wanted okay. uh, all right I think the last thing on the agenda item is so I've been back on Namibia uh, this year is to keep increasing our partner. Can 
Korea. Yes, we can hear you now. Where you went to for a minute. Okay, sorry. But it's gonna be but yeah, I was I think I was talking about PyCon Namibia. Um um I've been thinking about um Chaos Africa participating in PyCon Namibia this year. Um in so usually in Python conference, right? Um, sprints contribution sprint. We're really struggling. Different things are. Yeah, yeah. Here. It's happening. One thing, like one of our series are partners. Like Hello, Riz. Hello, Riz. Um, we've not been able to grasp what we are saying. We are really breaking. Is it better? Yes. Yeah. Could you please repeat what we've said on Namibia? Okay. Is it better now? Can you hear me clearly? Yes, we can. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, but I think I am lagging. Oh my. Um, okay. How about now? Yeah, better. Okay, better. Okay. So I was talking about PyCon Namibia, right? Participating in PyCon Namibia this year. So there are some thoughts about that I've been having about participating, Chaos Africa participating this year. Um last year I attended it for not I just attended it personally and I think then for my company. But in terms of participation, there are a couple of things I have been thinking about. Um either doing um a non-conference type of chaos con not the way we did chaos con last year um but in terms of a just a two two hours kind of like thing where we talk about open source communities in africa chaos africa sponsoring a session like that or um we can have like um a, a an in-person hangout um during one of the days or um, we can also participate in the contribution sprint. So in Python conferences, they they keep a particular day where um, open source projects, people can contribute to open source projects throughout that day. So we can, I think that one is definite, even though we don't even participate officially, but like um, doing the sprints is something we should definitely do. But I don't know if people have thoughts about having um, a chaos con there. Um, or if there are other conferences that are going to happen later this year, I am going for a a another chaos con elsewhere aside to Nigeria. So yeah, are there other conferences that are going to happen in East 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 Africa, um, or Southern Africa? Um, I think Namibia is in the south. So what are your thoughts on um any thoughts on participating here? Um, Brian, are you going to attend Icon, Icon Namibia? Uh, I hope so. I submitted my proposal for the conference. So if they accept it, yes. If they don't accept it, still yes. And <laughs> still, I'll weigh my choices after the decision. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I get that. Um, if if we're going to do any a chaos con kind of thing, it will not be like the way we did it in maybe not the way we did it in Nigeria. But I think I still need to prepare some form of proposal to them. I don't think PyCon conferences they don't do collocated events, right? It's not something that's common. Oh, well, I think oh, you are asking for suggestions, right? Yes, yeah, suggestions. Yes. Oh, okay. I think. It's not common, but for the last PyCon Nairobi, Python Nairobi that happened, we had like a small discussion for open source folks. So it was it was like open source Nairobi got a, a space to talk about open source, not necessarily like a, a talk, but more of a roundtable discussion and all that. So maybe mm -hmm. we can also have the same at PyCon Namibia. 
because it's more of like open source. And I also feel like at the conference, you can also have a discussion around people moving from just fast contributions, like what we had like beyond Hacktoberfest and the discussion that has been happening on Twitter about folks contributing to open source just because, you know, they want to, because GSOC pays money. I don't know if you've been following the open source conversation on Twitter. So I'm feeling like also having something like beyond your first contribution and a roundtable discussion on the same to help folks in the Python community contribute to the like the core Python or C Python project and all that would be amazing. Mm, I, I like that. Do you want to like work with me on like it? Because I reached out to the Mohewe. Mohewe is the Python Namibia lead. I reached out to him and he was talking about like us doing if we can do a proposal or what we want to do because it's not something that's common. So I don't know if you, it's something you want to work. Let's work together and get, give them a proposal of what we want to do. Can be like a tool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. I can work with you on that and then you can. Okay, okay. I'll okay. uh, I'll reach out to you. Then um, we can also we have GitLab swag, so I can also take some swags there as well, and you can print out Chaos Africa swag. I know in the last one there was no swags; they didn't have like <laughs> people like swags. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, any more thoughts, maybe feedback on this? Okay. Also, maybe just to add, since we were talking about the newsletter, so at PyCon, I also write for PyCon, I also write for PyLibis Ghana, and we also started like working on a newsletter. I also mm -hmm. feel like also going to the conference can also help us like get more folks to contribute to the different attributes of like Chaos Africa. For example, you mm -hmm. can have folks like write articles on open source, maybe the technical writing working group. You can get folks like start working with maybe not like a working group, but more of an accountability group. So we feel like if you're a technical writer in open source and you want to write articles, we can have you like we can have like let's say we're having articles. We can develop topic ideas for them as Chaos Africa and then have meetings like, hey, are you stuck? Maybe you can have meetings where we review each other's articles. And then we actually create content for our newsletter by Africans. Since the articles published by Africans on topics around African, so it would be like nice content for the newsletter. I'm just, just a wild thought. Mm, okay, that, that makes sense. Yes, we can. Yeah. Um, I think um we can you can join like there's the if all is still here, they have like the, the social media group, they have like a, a Slack chat. So you can she can add you to that chat. But yeah, I agree with what you see said because like it would be a way to even build our network of people, right? Because for example, we, we have a network of people on Twitter that are not even on our Slack, right? We also have a network of people in the community, right? In different countries. So even as I go to these different conferences, because I have a couple of them to attend, a lot of them to attend this year, um, having that newsletter handy, subscribe to Chaos Africa newsletter will be helpful to build that network of people around different African um, countries. I can't, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Oh my man. Network is not on my side. Yeah, okay. I think um Brian was saying he couldn't hear me. Um but yeah, I I like the idea. So I'll let you add you to the group. Um I think that's the last agenda item really. Is there any other thing that people want to talk about or you know suggestions? Okay, um, I want to say something actually. Okay. Okay, so um, for community engagement on our own channel, I noticed that the group is always like very dry or something like that. Side the fact that sometimes we post uh, maybe social media posts and some other maybe opportunities or anything like that. 
So I was thinking, is there a way we can make it lively, like through conversation, maybe not every day, but at least once in a while, because I noticed that it is the same set of people that um, kind of like contribute and also do stuff. So yes, that is just like my own suggestion. Is there a way we can um, introduce um, having conversation on the channel so that it, um, people, more people can um, get engaged with what we do? Yeah, thank you for that observation, Oluchi. So, um, yeah, we've had to, we've had a lot of these conversations in the past, right? Even that's why the community management group exists, but that has not been really, really active. I know Mary Blessing has um been, has posted a couple of times, um, but other people it has not been really active, right? So it's something that we should definitely improve on because I agree that. It's just um you know whenever there are meetings or but we there's a is a lot more we can do with that people the channel is really really open to anybody to post any as far as it's in line with open source too right posting things that you're doing or you're working on questions you know open source observations I think we can do even me myself that I speaking I think I just mainly go there and just post things and just add things but maybe adding things that will spark conversations can be can be something interesting right um not just announcements and um, opportunities right so this is just a call out to everybody to like you are free to post anything on the channel right while we maybe try to get the community management group active again um, it's open for you to actually post things ask questions things you're doing if you need support in anything that you're working on, right? Connecting with people as well, starting up conversations, it's quite open. And that's really how, um, you know, we grew in uh, open source and and the community is really welcoming to anybody. People are always there to help. So yeah, um, maybe that that's something if yeah, people are interested in also championing this part of conversations, like posting things in the channel and engaging people, you can indicate interest maybe we'll, so that we can make that live day again. Any feedback thoughts? Okay. Um, Kinsley, I think Kinsley just joined us. And is there any updates from? Okay, I am in the can raise your hand. You can speak. Oh, Kinsley, um, just prepare some updates for us for design team. If there anyone you have, you can go after him. Yeah. Um. First of all, sorry about the last time. My mic was um, and uh, also I wanted to ask about skills con. Um. I, I know you mentioned something about it that like you do you, you just you don't want it to just be in Nigeria alone. So is is it that there's going to is there's going to be a simultaneous event happening somewhere else in, in Africa and also here in Nigeria, or it's just going to like take place in one place? Sorry, take oh. take place somewhere. Okay, it can it, it can happen differently, really, right? It must not happen like for example, right? The other chaos cons that are not chaos con Africa, like they have one in chaos con EU. That's the one. It always happens in either force them. There's a conference called force them that happens in Belgium, um, or when um Linux Foundation Open Source Summit Europe happens, and then they also have one in North America, um, that happens during um Open Source Summit North America, right? So um, it would be great to have other chaos con not in Nigeria as well, so it can happen. Um, when other and like for example, if you're going to do one in PyCon Namibia, if you're going to do one anyway in PyCon Namibia, it's going to it's going to be something that happens within a conference. It ha always it's better to happen within a conference because then you get other people involved in the conversation, right? And it's you know you attract more people. So if there are conferences that are happening outside, open source conferences, maybe I'll see. 
so that it's in line with what we do. I don't know if I answered your question. Yeah, you, you did. I, I, I do understand that Chaos Con has to grow and because I, I really enjoyed Chaos Con. Um, was it train? Was it last year? Or train train two? Yeah, it was last year in train train two. Oh, yeah, last year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but it, it's it's fine. Thank you. Sure. Um. Is there any update for design team? I did not put any there, so I don't know if there's any. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, so for yeah, good evening, everyone. Good afternoon. Good morning. So for design, um, this week we started off uh, from where we stopped last year, and that's with our first project. So um, I don't know if Maya is on this call and Lola Day. All right, so those two persons, um, thanks to Felix, you know, so we, I, I think I had this thing with um, um, like some designers yesterday. So to just pick up from where we stopped, the initial project what we launched last year um, during the co-pilot stop was the landing page, right? So for now we have um, the project page um, ready, I think I, Look it up yesterday and nothing so bad about it. So um we need um so Maya is working on the dashboard for admin. Um although at the moment we're kind of like brainstorming um just around uh something much more sustainable. For example, you get the whole idea of Atos project just being spotlighting open source projects in Africa. So um that being said, name Project maintainers will have to submit, you know, the information about their project and stuff. So now we are considering using Google Form rather than having to build a form, a page on the website, because of course that will entail backing a lot of data and then paying for bandwidth to maintain all that. So we're just considering um, using Google Form. So um, next summer is supposed to do. Uh, part of the brainstorming and come up with what is much more uh, sustainable. So once you decide on that, then um, we know that to have a form, a, a, a page, you know, where users can feel all that. But for now, I think um, that's part of what she's working on and also the dashboard, right? Then Olola Day is actually working on mobile view of the project page uh, where he's worked on. Right, so I, I think that's the progress so far. Um, mm. And Oluchi, you're going to think because I know Oluchi shared some stuff with me, but I, I, I recall she saying on our call we had last week also that um, she was still working on some stuff. So um, I wasn't very sure that I didn't assign that stuff to anyone. So Oluchi, I don't know if you're like done with social media stuff, the fresh t-shirt then I think I can start as um that tax right to some of we have some brand identity guys on the channel now that can jump on it. So I think um so far that's what I have in general the same updates. Then I think if you that stuff uh good we can like think later on about it. Okay, that's nice. Thank you and thank you for leading that team as well. Um, something I just wanted to say was, um, I don't know if you guys can start working on um, a announcement like flyer for GitLab for our sponsors, right? As we start getting sponsors, we've gotten GitLab as our first official sponsor. Um, so um, if you guys can start um putting out some like designing some things, no, like the money hasn't officially come in yet, but it should soon. Um, but we can start the designs because um, something we would definitely love to announce on our social media. So I'll give you more details later. Yeah, sure. That's what we're done. Okay. 
Um, okay. Any questions for design team? Um, okay. So there are no questions. Uh, thank you everybody for you know participating in this uh, meeting. Um and we'll see you next one. Who took who took the notes? Um is that Inka or someone else? If you want to add your name to that contributions, um contributions file I talked about, you can open an issue. Um but thank you everybody. I'm going to stop recording.